Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a Fitbit account. So I'm going to take you through the process of downloading, installing and then signing up for the Fitbit account. This is going to be the same on whatever device you're using. I'm using the iPhone for this. It's going to be pretty much the same process whatever device you are using. So first of all, you want to go to like your App Store, whether it's the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. And you want to type in Fitbit. And then it should, uh, once you typed in that and then uh, click search, it should be one of the first ones that come up. That's what the logo looks like there. And you're going to want to click get on that or whatever it says for whatever, like your Android device, whatever other device you're using. And you're going to click install afterwards if it comes up for you. And then it's going to depend on how quick your download speed is. Uh, if your download speed is pretty good, it should uh, only take a few seconds. If not, it might take a little bit longer. But it'll get there eventually. And there is a link in the description below to the Google Play Store download link and the a Apple App Store link there. And so that's all the link in the description below if you don't want to do it specifically like this. So that should cover all bases with that. But once uh, it's fully downloaded, you can either click open on this page right here as it will come up. Or you can go on your app pages, uh, like where you see all your apps, and then you can just click on it like that. So it should only take a few seconds to load in here. And then once it's done, you can see that this is open. Or if not, just go onto your page. That's what it looks like, a little uh, like green logo there. You can click onto that. So it'll say, will you like to use Bluetooth? Uh, you will need to use Bluetooth for this because of how it like connects and how you're going to use the device. So you want to click OK for that. And then uh, you'll say uh, join Fib or login. If you already have an account for whatever reason, click login. But if not, join. And then it will say uh, whichever Fitbit you have there, you can click on that. Or if you don't have one at all, you can click no Fitbit yet. So that's going to depend on you. Click on whichever one fits your uh, situation. And I say Fitbit will access, access your uh, thing there. You have to say OK for that part, otherwise I won't let you through. Then I'll say your phone, and then you're going to want to click set up for that uh, to go through to the next step. And then it'll say enter your account details. So you're going to want to go through there, put your first name, last name, email, and password. I'm going to, um, for some of this part, I will be covering up my information because obviously I don't want everyone seeing my information for my account. Uh, but you want to type in there, in there so first name, last name. Make sure your email is correct. And make sure you have uh, access to the email because you will be asked to verify it later. So make sure you have access to that straight away. Otherwise, you won't be able to get into your account. Then make sure the password fits the uh, parameters of what you're allowed. Do the password for us. It's like nine characters. It uh, has to be in the password there. And you want to want to click agree on the terms. Uh, then uh, basically, you want to click agree and then go next. With that, to make sure you do have the correct password with the nine characters. Otherwise, if you don't do that, I won't let you get in. So then next, you're going to want to go uh, to this bit here. It says your privacy is important. Uh, click not now for saving the password there. You've got to agree to this part here. Otherwise, I'm going to let you get through. I'm going to say uh, to get an accurate picture of activity. It's going to ask you all these questions. So for instance, you want to have your birthday, etc. You can go through and put that there. Uh, your date, month, and year. And then you're going to want to click next. And then you're going to, it's going to ask you how tall you are. It's going to be in centimeters there. So you want to look that up if you don't know your centimeters. And then next uh, for that, it's going to ask you what your sex is. And then you're going to want to click that and then next. And then it will say, what is your weight? And then you're going to want to put that in there. It's using stone for pounds. For me, it might be a bit different for you because uh, it's going to be on the UK app store. So it might come up different for you. And you're going to want to accept the terms or policies. Otherwise, again, you won't be allowed to go through like that. It's just one of those things. And I'll say Fitbit will like to send notifications. You can click allow or don't allow, depending on what you want there. And then uh, once that's it, it's going to get you to this page here. And I'll say you have to verify your email. So what you're going to want to do, like I said before, that email you use to sign up, you're going to want to go ahead and go to that email. Uh, I potentially, for me, I've used a Gmail account they already have on my phone, etc. But just wherever your email is, your Hotmail, Gmail, whatever it is, you want to click on that. And then it should come up uh, saying, like, action required, confirm Fitbit account. Uh, this is what the email will look like potentially for you, even though I've blurred some things out and probably will have. And then you want to click verify your email on that email, and then it will bring you through like a web page. Then it'll say thank you, your email address has been verified. So that means now you'll be able to use everything on your account, and it will work perfectly fine. And pretty much once you've done that, you can go back on the account and you can access whatever you want from here. Those are the end of the steps. So leave a like on the video if that did help you out. Subscribe for more videos like this. Click on the screen to see more Fitbit how-tos and other videos similar. But that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.